picture waking up to the buzz of Bangalore's tech parks or the hum of Kolkata's trams. Both cities are famous for their culture. Songs drifting through Kolkata's alleys and cricket games in Bangalore's neighborhoods. But hidden beneath these lively scenes is a growing challenge, pollution. Let's walk through their stories and see how their environment has changed. Bangalore, once known as the Garden City, overflowed with parks and fresh breezers. Kolkata, on the other hand, blended river banks with cool winds. As the decades rolled on, both cities transformed with new jobs. More people means more construction, cars and smoke. Soon, these cities, which were once famous for their greenery, began to struggle with polluted air. First, let's talk about air quality using two simple numbers, PM2.5 and PM10. PM2.5 are tiny particles in the air, invisible to us, but can cause serious health problems. PM10, on the other hand, are bigger bits. They usually come from road dust and construction. It can cause breathing problems as well. In recent years, Bangalore's PM2.5 levels were recorded at nearly 25 micrograms per cubic meters, which is much higher than what experts recommend. PM10 levels have increased sharply as well, increasing the safety limits every single year since 2019. Traffic jams, construction, and the steady rise of private vehicles have all added to the haze. Kolkata ranks as India's second most polluted metro after Delhi. In 2024, the air held nine times more PM2.5 than what's considered safe. The city's PM10 regularly crosses 100 micrograms per cubic meter. Unlike Bangalore, Kolkata's pollution is worsened by waste burning, traffic and industries. It's not just numbers. Imagine an auto rickshaw driver in Bangalore who covers his nose with a scarf, driving through clouds and clouds of dust. Think of an artist in Kolkata painting riverside scenes, now noticing that the sky isn't even blue, it's greyish. Parents also keep their children inside, worried that they may get sick. Now, what does this mean for us in our everyday life? Long-term exposure to high PM2.5 can shorten lifespans and result in thousands of deaths every single year. Sensitive groups like kids, the elderly, and people with breathing conditions have even higher risks. On bad days, doctors suggest people to stay in and keep their windows closed. Both cities are fighting back. Bangalore has seen electric buses hit the roads and stricter rules for construction. But the number of vehicles has kept growing. Kolkata spends crores and crores on clean air programs since the last five years, focusing on cutting emissions from transportation. But scientists believe that it's still not enough. Money alone cannot solve these problems. It's about building smarter cities, enforcing laws, and community action. Let's write the next chapter together. This requires help from not just the government, but from all of us. Share your stories and thoughts down below in the comments. See you in the next video. Goodbye.